It's time for Today in History. For this segment, we look back at the past to try and find lessons for now and in the future. Today is November 28th, and it was on this day in 1895 that the first automobile race was held in America. The brainchild of Chicago Times Herald publisher H.H. H. Holsat, who has a memorial tablet at the National Cathedral, mind you, the Chicago Times Herald race was meant to highlight the burgeoning growth of the auto industry and, of course, sell some newspapers. Automobiles had only been in the U.S. for about two years at that point, so new that there wasn't an agreed upon term for them. The race covered over 54 miles from Chicago to Evanston and back on a snowy Thanksgiving day. It featured six entrants, including two motorcycles. And three of the cars, by the way, were manufactured by Carl Benz, yes, him, and the other was eventual winner Frank Duryea's motorized wagon, the first American-made standardized gas-powered automobile. That race was rough. The motorcycles lacked the power to make it up the hills on the course, so they were out. The battery died on an electric car due to the cold, and one of them hit a horse. In spite of all this, the race was a success, with Duryea traveling at a speed of seven miles per hour, finishing the course in seven hours and 53 minutes, and commercial production of the automobile buoyed by the race would begin the next year.